going to start this video halfway through. Well, not halfway through. I am making a scooter, electric scooter, out of a mobility scooter. Um, there's, there's the remains of it. But, and I'll show you how I got this far. Turn auto focus off because you can hear it. This is a different axle because I've got quite a few of these axles lying around. Now this one, you basically start with this and you strip it, take all the bolts out and strip it into parts. Once you've stripped it, once you've stripped it, you'll end up with the uh, the differential. Now one of the half shafts will come out completely, um, and this one. It's difficult to separate, but I'm only making a short, a short uh, wheelbase. So what I did, I got the half shaft, um, and I measured because this shaft was quite long. Right here, I measured the half shaft, and I cut it to the same size as the, the half of the shaft would come out. Uh, then I welded it together to make one solid shaft. And one of the bearing caps fitted on. It excuse focus because I've turned it off. Um, I positioned that on where the weld was, drilled and bolted on the sprocket. Now the bearings, these here, you see these two, the, the contain bearings, wheel bearings. Now the bearings were attached, you can see where I've cut it off, were attached to these parts, what you don't need. So I just hacksawed through them. Um, I didn't want to use grinder because it's, it makes too much mess. Packs all through them, which then gave me my, bear, my bearings. One went on that side, and the other bearing was on that side, which I've also hacksawed off. These hubs actually contain brake shoes, so I've attached these just temporary. This is just temporary together just to make sure it fits okay. That's as far as I've got with that. I'm going to use the existing frame. Um, now these are where the bearings, the other part of the bearings will fit, but obviously they need to be a lot closer together. So I'm going to chop these off here, chop all the pieces off what we don't need, like this and this. Weld this piece, what's going to carry the wheels, onto here. Obviously that's going to be in the way, and that's going to be in the way. So these are going to get chopped off, chop that off, chop that off, cut that off there, and weld that piece onto there. So that's where my axle will fit and the wheels will fit in these gaps here, What's because this will be angle grinded off, cut off. Right, the first problem I'm going to have is the steering. I'm trying to utilise what I've got. Um, originally, I was going to use the centre, the centre part, and get some um, bike forks and make it single wheel. But I think I'm going to go with the second option, which is to use this double original steering mechanism, but shorten the length here to the same length as the back axle, so it's like four wheels. The plan is to cut that and weld them two pieces together and then reattach that to the original frame and then I'll obviously have to cut and shorten this which means just cutting it and welding it and that's my plan. Next stage the back axle off, the old axle, which I'm going to shorten. Oh, that took some, took some steam. I'm using a manual axle because I can get a straighter cut than using a grinder for this bit. So, I've now cut both sides off that rear axle, and they will be attached on there. 
I've still got a lot of trimming to do, I've got to cut these bits off yet. Slowly getting there. Right, so now I've cut them two pieces, um, <coughs> cut them two pieces down. It's a case of mounting them onto your bearings with the existing clamps, what used to be on the mobility scooter. Um, pairing this up, and welding these together. Uh, obviously, I've still got to cut these off, but they're coming in handy at a minute for um, stabilising it all. So, yep, yeah, it's coming on great. Sorry for the quietness, it's because it's early in the morning. <laughs> I ain't quite woke up yet. Welder, what I'm using is a very old one. I've had it probably seven, eight years. A Clark Weld, Easy Art 160. And there's one of the first welds, welding the frame back together with the bearings. Well, it's starting to take shape. Slowly and surely. It's a bit like a Colin Furs video, but only crapper. Right, the problem I had is when I mated these two up, I didn't realise um, my sprocket was <laughs> hitting the frame, so I've had to cut the section out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift the frame, I'm going to weld it there. Obviously I've cut that section out in the middle because the chain uh, is going to be in the way. No, the chain's not going to be in the way, that piece of metal is going to be in the way. So that's, uh, that's as far as I go. It's, it's a case of just making it up as I go along, to be honest with you. But before I make any commitment to welding, to make sure everything's 100%. Right, that's the back axle welding on. Obviously I've got all sharp edges to grind down. Now I'm decided, I don't know. I'm going to ask me, 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 my plan is, my plan is, my two batteries are going to go there, one's there, one's there, and I've lifted this higher up. So I'm hoping I can get the motor underneath the original mobility school to 4000 RPM, 400 Watt, so it should be quite nippy. Uh, if I can mount the motor underneath, then I can just put the batteries here. So yeah, and the steering, I'm just, I don't know, to save a lot of messing around, um, to make it a single fork. I'd need to get a bike and I don't want to, because it's this coronavirus, I don't want to be buying um, a bike to scrap, having to collect it. So I'm thinking, I don't know, I think that looks quite cool. It might be a bit more stable for him. I'm not making it for me, I'm making it for my little lad. Well, little, it's ten. Well, I've changed my mind. I've decided to cut it down a bit. I uh, took about six inch off of the front end. Um, let's have a look. It don't look too bad now. Looks like I need to light. So yeah, I've chopped about six, seven inch off at front end. It's not quite, it's a bit wider at front, but it's not as wide as it was. And I'm just in the process of shortening all the steering arms. Cutting and welding. Well, that's the hubs done and cables connected. I'm just going to change these tyres. Um, these are brand new, I had these on an old quad in my shed. So they're going to be on there. Well, that's it with the wheels changed. Ooh. Get out of I can't see anything through this camera. Not bad. Anyway, yep, steering arms are shortened. A few more adjustments to do with that. But yeah, it's coming on. Coming on a treat. Well, that took some doing, but I've managed to get the sprocket onto the electric motor, which is going to power it. The batteries are ordered, the speed controller's ordered. I've also changed my plan. I've cut these off here, all going to be batteries. I want to redesign it because I didn't like it, it looked a bit naff. So my next challenge is to get the motor mounted. Right, I'm just doing the engine mount now, or should I say motor mount. Um, I'm making it, it's got to be adjustable so you can uh, alter the tension very very fiddly. Right, I've skipped a bit now. Fitted the original rear lights 
bar, just welded a bar across here. Brake lights, or there will be, and running lights. I've still got that to chop off. Uh, and I've also made the board. Um, it's great lightweight. Made it out of 10mm plywood. And I, like I say, it's like balsa wood, but it's very, very strong. Um, it said it's first coat of glossy enamel on the frame. Just waiting for the batteries to arrive. I've redone the console, blue, so it doesn't look like a mobility scooter. Well, it still does, but hey ho. I've changed brake lever as well. I've put the brake lever on this side because that side's going to be the throttle. I didn't want them on both sides because you can't really brake and throttle at the same time. So, yeah, it's coming along. Chain's now connected. Motor's mounted. If you can see that, it's difficult in this. It's pretty bright out here. So yeah, it's coming on a treat. Well, decided to put a few decals on. Um, I have got a graphics machine, but I think you're seeing that. Few decals here. My batteries have turned up. I'm going to sink them further down into the board because they stick up a bit much. It's coming on now. Lovely. Let me just put my focus back on. So, yep, yeah, looking good. Just made a battery cover. I've got a laser machine which cuts um, basically anything. So that's the maybe the battery cover. The lights are on. All the front's been. That's it, all the front's been put back together. Now I've got working lights. Turn it on. Now have a front light and we have the rear lights. All the electrics are done, just waiting for the speed controller. I have actually ordered um, four new tyres for this because um, these big knobbly ones, I think you're going to feel every bump when you're driving on it. So. Um, I've ordered two to start with because the front ones have um, they're not new and they're rotting, so I need to replace them. But yeah, it's uh, running boards done, plastic trimmed. It's all the stuff where I had lying around in the shed, basically waiting for the speed control and a quick test. But I have noticed you can't tell from here that the front wheels are roughly four an inch, inch and a half lower in the back so I need to raise this up so what I'm gonna to have to do if it's all if it all works I'm not doing it yet but if it all works I need to cut this off here I've got a bit of box section steel like that I'm gonna put that here and then lift that up to make it level which will lift the motor a bit further off the floor so yeah it's coming on a treat